What's going on guys? Welcome back to some more Kingdom New Lands. We just arrived in land number three, which is really nice. Uh, already building the walls. I actually learned a lot about this game uh, yesterday. I watched a stream by the PR person in charge of Kingdom, and this is one of the things that I learned. And it ran away. Where, where are you going? Okay, so that is the dog that we actually saw on the uh, map. So a couple of things are a lot more clear to me uh, than they were previously. The circles that I was talking about do represent something, but they're not portals. Basically what they will represent is unlocks, things that you can unlock on the map, uh, which basically sort of, you know, um, incentivizes you to play the game multiple times. So as we can see in the very middle, which is where we started out, we've got that archer statue. That's actually an unlock. That's something that we unlocked by playing it. Or actually, I played it the first time. I beat the first land, and I think that's when I unlocked the archer statue. And the order in which you unlock things is completely random. But that's why it actually showed up for me. So that statue is now going to show up for me. And then the second thing, because we beat the second land, we unlock that dog. That's what we saw in the last video. Suddenly that thing showed up. And I wasn't really sure what it meant, but now I actually understand. It's, I just unlock the dog. Uh, so we have him now, as you can see, he's standing right over here. And he'll be our buddy now. Alright, so we got those people over there. Let me just check the right side a little bit more. So that's where the boat landed. I feel like there might be some risk involved with just running out. Okay, you know what? No, I'm actually going to turn around for now. Although, we might be good. We might be good. So the dog actually does something, and I don't want to spoil yet exactly what he does. But we'll get into that later. Oh boy, there are enemies. Alright, but there should be only two. Alright, we're good. Alright, so the archer statue is in this land as well. This is also completely random. Certain things are going to show up in certain worlds. Alright, we got a small portal there. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's basically random uh, what's going to show up for who and where it's going to show up and all that. So it really incentivizes you to play the game multiple times, try to unlock everything that there is to unlock. Oh, the moon is only just showing up. I certainly hope there's not going to be any more enemies because that would be bad. But it looks like, nope, this bridge, not the dock. Please tell me. All right, we got some peasant man. What's up, buddy? Just want to see what else is out here. There's another mini portal. That's two mini portals on one side. And a big portal. All right, so we definitely are going to need the left side if we want to get out of here, I guess. I'm guessing all this means is that there's like a lot more portals on this map. I'm guessing there's going to be two mini portals on the left then as well. Oh, this is going to get really difficult, I'm guessing. But I don't want to just roll over and die. I want to reach the end. I want to unlock more stuff. But yeah, that is something that, that I learned. Let's just head back to camp because I want to check out the other site now and see what's over there. Come on, doggy. So we haven't really seen what he does yet. It's clear that he does not attack the enemy because that is what I would have assumed maybe. Is that he would sort of protect you a little bit from the enemy. Uh, but that's not quite what he does. We'll get into this soon enough, no worries. I also don't really know much more than this. Like, I only really figured out that there are unlocks. And I've seen a few of them during the live stream. Um, but most of them, I don't even know what they did. I just saw them, and that's about it. So the only thing I really knew was the dog, and that, luckily, that's the thing that I just unlocked myself, so that's really cool. Alright, come on, deer. If we can kill these, that's gonna be so many coins, man. So this fallen tree is where the dog lives. And then if you toss him a coin, he'll hang out with you. Be your friend. Stop running. Kill them. Are you guys serious right now? Only killed one. I'm sure you could have done better. But okay. I'll just let it slide for now. Alright, let's see. So, I'm just gonna grab... 
this. Oh, that's too many coins. That is too many. Let's get some bows in here. And then I'm going to get just a hammer as well. We have too many coins as it is, so... And we're just going to get a whole lot more. I'm going to run all the way to the left side now. Let's recruit some dudes here. I'm looking for that map that we found earlier on the signpost. Um, because I know that somehow that is related to unlocks. I just don't know how. And that is something that I want to figure out. Alright, so here we go. It's um, the upgrade thingy. I mean, that's not going to be useful straight away, but I guess it would just be a nice idea to uh, to grab that. Alright, let's go, fellas. That's another four people. Alright, here we go. So I'm going to buy this. Alright, here we go. So I think that when you buy that and you beat the land after you buy it, that's when you unlock something. I think that's how it works. I could be wrong. There's another two dudes here. That's right. Walk away. Just walk away. There's probably not going to be many more. So basically what I think the dog does, I'm just going to tell you guys right now. I am pretty sure it will alert you to the direction that enemies are going to show up. So there is enemies in front of us if the dog is correct. And if I am correct about how the dog works, let us see. I mean, the enemy should be right upon us now. Is this a dock already or is it a bridge? It's a dock, so there's only... Okay, this is actually really nice. So all we know now is that there's only one mini portal on the left. So it looks like this land really only adds one new mini portal. If we destroy the one on the left, then we don't have to worry about any attacks from that side anymore, which is going to be really nice. So I'm just going to send out the knights really, really soon and just go after the portal on the left, destroy it, and then all we have to focus on is the right side. We can just clear everything on the left and just build a whole bunch of farms and we're going to be good to go. That's actually really nice to see. That is the, uh, the random number generator working in our favor here. Because I really want to beat this lad now. I just want to see all these unlocks. I'm super excited about that because that's uh, like a lot of new stuff uh, that those will add is what I've been told. I don't know exactly uh, what kinds are out there. All I know is that there's the statue and the dog. And there's one other thing that I've seen, but I don't know what that does uh, quite yet. So I guess we're just going to keep figuring stuff out as we go. Alright, let's upgrade this. Actually, oh, that was kind of a mistake. Not necessarily a mistake, but just kind of unnecessary, really. Alright, go out there. Alright, so the sun is out. I'm going to buy one of these as well. We definitely do want to get a farm going. Nice and early on. Looks like we might have to get rid of the merchant to get a farm, or we have to go to the left side, which is also an idea. Alright, what's up, buddy? This guy. And there's, yep, there's two more. And we already started out with, like, a whole big number of people. Uh, so we should be... Wait, I'm gonna look at the knights, actually. If, the, if the, both knights, like, we have three. If there's two on the left side, that means we're gonna be able to bring four knights to the next land. As long as none of them dies, which is basically... Well, that is possible because of the portal. I only see one on this side. Oh, now that's good. That's actually really good for me. All right, let's see. I'm going to get two more bows. We have too many people. I have way more people that I need currently. All right, so there's two knights on this side. See, I can't send them out here because we need to build the walls uh, here again. Just gonna get rid of a few trees, so I definitely want to farm here eventually. But I'm not seeing any farm space or anything. Okay, so there's nothing here. I mean, usually you will get space for a farm, I think. Alright, let's just upgrade the wall as soon as we can, which is right now. And let's just get this going straight away. This will be our main line of defense for the left side to begin with. 
Um, after tonight's attack, I think I'm just gonna instantly send out the knights to the left side, because if we destroy that, uh, we're gonna be really good. We have two knights on this side. Alright, upgrade it one more. I think we should be able to do this. If we destroy the port on the left right away, then we're gonna have a pretty decent time with, uh, with this land, I think. Yeah, so if I want to farm, I'm gonna have to go over to the merchant on this side. I'm not sure I like that, so I guess for now I'll just, um, see if we can destroy stuff on the left if we can. I'm building a farm there. If it's turning out to be very difficult, we are going to need a farm on the right side, I guess. And get rid of the merchant, so... That's not gonna be very fun. Alright, let's get some bows. I'm just gonna keep the rest of my coins for now, because I wanna make sure that I have enough to send the knights out in the morning. Both of them. I mean, it's day... yeah, it's gonna be like day four. Sending out two knights on day four, obviously, I think, should destroy the portal. Get back here, what are you doing? Alright, here we go. Yeah, we got this. These guys can't really do anything right now. Sweet. Alright, we got some good builders going. Soon we'll get the catapult, and then we'll get some more builders, but for now, we're looking pretty good. We just need to uh, actually build up our defenses on the right side a bit more. Uh, this level 1 wall is okay right now, but we definitely are going to need something better. Very, very soon. So we're probably going to build this to the second level, possibly... Uh, tomorrow. Alright, let's cut down a few of these trees. And free up a little bit of space. And then we can build the wall here and all that. Alright, let's get our money from the merchant man. Thank you, merchant man. Bless you. Bless your heart. And then, we're gonna go ahead and actually send the knights out and have them attack our enemies. Four, one, two, three, four, boom. And there we go. Now, judging from what we saw in the last slide, where I actually sent one knight by accident, two knights absolutely should be able to destroy uh, the portal this early on. Because, like, the earlier you send the knights, the easier it will be to destroy the portal. I'm pretty sure. It pretty much has to be. And that's also how it worked in the earlier kingdom, like, enemy resistance was gonna get way tougher, and the portal was gonna get stronger, I believe, uh, later on in the game. Alright, you know what, I'm just gonna build this wall straight away. Because we can, and it's really cheap, and then we can already upgrade it to the, uh, the next level. Because this is gonna be some hot garbage right now. Alright, there we go. Now, I could send out the knights on the right side as well, but I'm kinda worried. I might actually do that if we manage to destroy the one on the left really quickly. I'll probably just send these guys away around like day six, just really soon. Uh, but I just want to be certain that things will be safe before I really do anything like that. Alright, so let's get another farmer. Or an archer, I mean, not farmer. Alright, let's see. Anybody got some cash that you want to hand over? Looks like nobody has any cash, that's kind of a bummer. How about you? Please, I want to hire these men. But I can't. Yeah, so if I want a farm on the left side, we're gonna have to get rid of these guys. That's gonna be pretty painful for them. And the earliest farm is really far away. But if we destroy the portal, that's absolutely possible. So that is something to consider. Also, we can't actually see those banners on our castle because we don't have a castle. So there's absolutely no way for me to tell whether or not my uh, knights are going to die. Like, if they do die, there's no way for me to tell. So that's kind of a bummer. Also, I am now completely out of money. It looks like we're going to have to get rid of the merchant on the right side. Just for that farm. Or we clear out stuff on the left. It's a pretty tough choice. We have not been dealt an easy hand in land three. All right, doggy, which way are you barking now? Right side. I think that means that we're gonna see enemies from the right side tonight. Let's check this out. Why is he going out there? What's he doing? What are you doing? Get back here. No, what are you, why are you both going out there? Clearly something is wrong with these guys. Something is pulling them outside of the camp and I don't know what it is, but that's gonna get him killed. He's still standing out there. Alright, we definitely should have enough archers still. 
Like, at most, there should be like five enemies, I think. We're just gonna blast him away. Yeah, see, there's only four. And it's over. That's really easy. I haven't seen my knights yet. I'm gonna collect the merchant's coins and I'm just gonna run out there. And just get the people back that may have died in the attack. Because I'm guessing they were not successful. I should have heard something by now, I guess. So maybe I should have used the statue before I sent them out there. Don't really know, but I'm starting to get a little bit worried. Please, merchant man. Just give me the gold, you're already safe. Here you go. Alright, so we're just gonna send him out there again. And then we're gonna run out there and recruit some people. So we got this camp coming up first. Two dudes. Alright, we don't have that many coins. So the merchant only gives you seven coins. I mean, that's still pretty good. Alright, that guy came back at least. They're all walking back now. But I haven't seen any knights yet. This kind of makes me worry that... Let's see, we got another two dudes here. That's another guy. Yeah, they definitely were not successful. Or we would have heard. At least most of them are coming back, but... Oh, they were almost successful though. Alright, so we definitely want to focus on... Destroying the stuff on the left side. What I'm thinking is we have so many people. I'm just gonna start cutting down trees until we get to the area where we can actually make a farm and just expand that way because I think the merchant right now is our number one source of income and to get rid of him right away would be a mistake. So I'm just gonna take it slow and start working my way over here. I think that's the one. That is like the closest farm that we can get to, which is kind of ridiculous, honestly, like... Hey, give me that. That's all I got? Well, that's not very good. Oh, okay, that's, that's much more promising. There we go. Alright, we got some decent coins. We're gonna need a lot of bows. I'm just gonna get four. Want to make sure that protection-wise, we are looking okay. And we have a lot of people, so I think we should be able to defend ourselves. We just lost those knives, which is a real bummer. Um, because that means that we will not be bringing four knights with us to the new land. And I was really looking forward to that. But, you know, you gotta be realistic. Alright, there's another farm here. I'm just gonna grab these two guys. Alright, here we go. So that is another four people? No, it's just two people, okay. Either way, like, uh, citizen-wise, I think we're looking okay. I think we have enough builders and all that. Let's get one more bow. Yeah. Alright, gotta focus on getting that farm. So I'm gonna save my coins for now, tomorrow. We are starting to cut down those trees because we need a farm. Because our income right now is terrible. Uh, we have no reliable way to get coins. He's barking. Oh, he's barking to the right. Oh, no he's not. He's barking to the left. Oh no! That little guy almost made it and then died. Yeah, I mean, we, we got this in the bag when it comes to protection. See, I'm not worried that we're gonna get overrun anytime soon. Um, I have so many archers that we'll be okay for a little while. So we can just focus on the economy for now. Just keep using the merchant. I'm gonna cut, start cutting down trees on the left and make my way to that farm plot. It'll be a while. It'll be quite expensive as well, but we need to do that or we are gonna get in some serious trouble. Alright, merchant man. Thank you. That is some good money. Alright, here we go. So just start cutting down trees. We're gonna have to get rid of that camp that the people show up in, but... 
I don't think I can even afford to cut down all trees. Look at that. I don't even have the money to do that, so we're okay. I'm just going to recruit this guy real quick. Alrighty then. We have a lot of builders, so they should be able to cut these trees down really, really quickly. I mean, look at that. We don't have any catapults either, so nobody is preoccupied with uh, pushing that thing around. Alright, please, just let me cut down more trees. I need that far, man. And I'm starting to think that we might even be able to reach that area today. Alright, here we go. Just cut everything down. I mean, I feel very sorry for the people that live in this camp, but it's just gonna have to be that way. And then we can actually get our... Yeah, just expand this way. Which is really far away. And then we can just walk to the farm from there. And that'll be good. And then all we gotta do is just wipe out everything on the left. And we can uh, safely keep on living our lives. Alright, does anybody have some cash? I saw that. You sneaky little bum. Alright, can we cut these yet? No, not yet. You have to wait, I think, for the trees in the background to fade away. Like the game somehow has to catch up to the fact that the forest is now gone. That is another, like, nine trees. So... Come on, guys. Alright, here we go. One, two... Three... Alright, that's all. Oh, nope, there's one more. Can't get this one, though. You have to do it really slowly. Alright, I think after this one, I might actually... Well, they're all here. It's not nighttime yet, is it? I think we ought to head back. I hear some creepy music. Alright, let's cut this. And then tomorrow, we'll actually make our way to the... They're barking. Yeah, we have to run. Alright, boys, let's go. Let's go home. Actually, this might be better. I'm just gonna do this real quick. They're gonna start building that wall. So that they'll be safe behind it, and my archer should all be running over here right now. Hurry up, buddy. Apparently only two builders can work together in one little project. Alright, here we go. Get that watchtower going. Yeah, we're gonna make it. We'll be okay. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, it's a blood moon. That's kind of worrying. Oh boy, here we go. Don't know where that coin just came from, but I think we should be okay still. Yeah, we have a lot of archers. Alright, so that wall was not very good, but it totally held. What? What happened to you? What was that all about? Alright, so still no farm possibilities here. Man, this place looks so barren now. I've never seen this before. Alright, I'm just gonna get some more bows then. We still have a lot of people walking around with nothing to do. And then the rest of the coins that I'm gonna get in the morning from the merchant man, I'm just gonna use to build that farm on the left side. Just get that going. After that, we'll focus on actually getting some knights as well. So that we can uh, destroy the portal. Then we can upgrade that farm. And actually get some really reliable income. Coming in every day. That's gonna be real nice.